In this problem, we're told a simple pendulum is 0.3 meters long. At t equals zero, it is released from rest starting at an angle of 13 degrees. Ignoring friction, what will the angular position of the pendulum be at a, t equals 0.35, and then b is 3.45 seconds, and then t or c is six seconds. Right, so we have this pendulum, right? We know it's gonna be at an angle of 13 degrees, and we know its length is 0.3 meters long. And so what we're trying to do is find uh, the angular position, right? So we're solving for theta, right? It's position, um, right, at these different times, at 0.35 seconds, and then B is 3.45, and C is 6. So let's just go ahead and start with A. So A is going to be at 0.35 seconds. So how do we solve for this problem? So basically, there's just a formula you need to know in order to solve for it, which is the angular position, right, theta, is equal to the initial, right, the initial angle. In this case, it's going to be 13. So I'm just going to write 13, but just know it's your initial angle, right? Multiplied by the cosine of the square root, right? Well, I guess it's your angular frequency multiplied by the time, right? But keep in mind, angular frequency is equal to the square root of the gravity divided by length. So essentially, we just plug it in there. So theta is just equal to the square root, right? G divided by L multiplied by T. Right, and so notice how we're going to solve for this. We have g, right? G. We're assuming we're on Earth, right? So g is just 9.8, and then it's going to go ahead and be the length, which is 0.3 meters, and then multiplied by the time, right? So the thing that's actually changing about this problem is the times, right? So 0.35 for the first one, and then the other ones change. So we're just going to use this formula to solve. So for the first one, theta is going to be equal to 13 times the cosine of the square root of g, which is 9.8, divided by the length, which is 0.3. Right, and then multiply it by t. So the time is just 0.35. Right, so go ahead and do this. 13 times the cosine of the square root of 9.8 divided by 0.3 times 0.35. And when you do this, make sure you do it in um, radians. So make sure your calculator is in radians or it will be wrong. So when you go ahead and do this, you'll get theta equals minus 5.414. So I'm just going to round it to uh, minus 5.4. And then keep in mind, right, so keep in mind this is going to be in degrees. So minus 5.4 degrees. So this is your answer to A. Now let's go ahead and do B. So for B, right, T is equal to 3.45 seconds, right? So we know this. And so what we want to do is go ahead and just plug it in, right? So it's the same thing. 13 times the cosine of the square root of 9.8 divided by 0.3. And the only thing that changes is the time, right? So now it's just going to be 3.45. So go ahead and do this through t or 13 times the cosine of the square root of 9.8 divided by 0.3 and then multiply it by 3.45. And when you do that, what you're going to go ahead and get is theta is equal to 8.39. Right? So you can round to however you want. You can just say 8.4 and then it's going to be in degrees. So last one is C at t equals 6 seconds. So same thing. Theta equals 13 times the cosine of the square root of 9.8 divided by 0.3 multiplied by the time, which is just 6. So times 6. So 13, plug it in. So 13 times the cosine of the square root of 9.8 divided by 0.3, and then multiply it by 6. And when you do that, you're going to get minus 12.54. So you can round. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and round all the way. So just say minus 13. Uh, degrees, right? So minus 13 degrees, or you can just use this one. But yeah, so minus 13 degrees for C, 8.4 degrees for B, and then minus 5.4 degrees for A. But yeah, so these are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.